the word doesn't tell you the truth. The truth is only Yeshua, Yeshua coming. Do you know these effects? Number one, the clouds in the sky are gradually coming down to the ground. Number two, you can see the super moon and super sun every day. Number three, looking at the pink sky. Number four, chemtrails, C-H-E-M-T-R-A-I-Ls are being spread like crazy. Number five, the moon is spinning around and around. The world doesn't tell you the truth. Something is happening in this world and the universe right now. People doesn't know anything. I will tell you everything from start to finish. Nibiru, N-I-B-I-R-U, and the planets are coming from behind the sun. As a floating in the sky now, right now, take a picture of the sun with your cell phone camera right now. You can take in the planets in the sky behind of the sun. Nibiru and the planets are coming from behind the sun. Is a floating in the sky now. Because Nibiru is like the sun, it is having a tremendous influence on the sun as it gets closer and closer. This is also leading to an explosion of the sun. Due to the explosion of the sun, the earth is being influenced by a huge magnet, magnetic field which is causing the earth to become increasingly hotter due to the approach of Nibiru, N-I-B-I-R-U, and the planet. It has a tremendous influence on the sun and having a tremendous impact on this planet as well. Everyone know all these truths and prepare yourselves. There is nothing to be afraid of if you know everything from start to finish. Absolutely rapture. Otherwise, it is martyrdom. The end. When the baby was born and the baby opened the eyes, there were people around me who looked similar to me, including my father, mother, older sister, older brother, uncle, aunt, cousin, and other family members after done for milk after done for milk and they're starting to walk the child goes to school there are people around you starting with your teachers and the classmates at school you start learning a lot of history philosophy language math science religion and even the languages of other countries no who am I? Why am I here? What am I doing now? Where do I go? As we think about these things, the people who love very much start to fall ill one by one and they begin to leave this world due to numerous accidents. And as new faces begin to be born into this world, grandmothers, Grandfathers, uncles, and aunts disappear from this world one by one, and this world continues to be filled with children, nieces, nephews, and the next generation. When I find myself like that, I feel so lonely. People visit all kinds of religions created in this world. Regardless of whether they have lived a good or bad life in this world or what they have done, everyone in this world wants to live in a better world. Some believe in trees, some believe in the moon, some believe in the sun, some believe in stone statues, some believe in gold statues, some pray to angels in sky, and each person has something in their heart. Whether they believe it or not, they make their own idols all one by one and pray to them with all their heart and sincerity. 
we create imaginary beings at the center of each person who do not exist and serve them at the center of our heart. These are the idols that God, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, Yeshua, considers most abominable. If you look around, there are so many beings, living beings and non-living beings. Living beings are alive, starting with the bacteria. In fact, if you know everything, everything is alive. It's just that the form is changing little by little. Taking water as an example, water exists as a liquid, but when it boils at 100 degrees, it turns into invisible water vapor. And when it goes below zero degrees, it freezes into ice and becomes a solid, but it is like H2O. Water is alive. When I looked around, I saw people, animals, plants, single cells, organisms, fire, water, soil, minerals, countless invisible gases, the sun, moon, stars, plants, and countless other living things. Every day, I saw air, soil, and water, and the universe is full of it. All these beings are alive. It just changes shape a little bit. Everything in this world is con constantly changing. They continue to purify, continue to be created, grow and disappear. And the new life grows and continues to purify. And they will continue to coexist forever even if my existence is on this earth or not everything has existed exist and will continue to exist the problem is myself who am i why am i here why do we have to go eat why we, why do we have to eat go to school work have children get married and they live in this world. And where does my existence go when it graduates from my life? This is the biggest problem. I am a living spiritual being whose soul exists right next to my heart, which was wonderfully created in the image of Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit and Yeshua. The Creator Yahweh and the Holy Spirit and Yeshua are the true God and the Creator of all things in this world and the universe. God loves humans more than all the animals, plants, minerals, and the universe in this world. This human beings was created in the image of God in a very profound way. And God created it with all his sincere sincerity in order to love and live together forever. Gave it a soul and it and is a spiritual being that lives forever, forever. God loves this human being first. God's love for this human beings will be eternal, and no one can break it. It's just each person's choice. Yeshua is the true God, and He came directly to this earth to obey the commands of our, our Father Yahweh God and to become the predestined, predestined sacrifice to become the Passover Lamb. Yeshua, who is God Himself, came to this earth to bear uh, bear the sins of humanity and died on the cross, shedding all his water and blood. The greatest concern of God, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, Yeshua, is the salvation of souls. Whether you are a good person or a bad person, no matter what you have done in this world, you want to go to heaven when you graduate from life in this world. However, 
people live without even knowing where heaven is. Heaven is outside the universe. At the end of the universe, hell is under the earth. How can I get to heaven? What if you do not you do a lot of good deeds? What if you are a righteous person and do a lot of righteous deeds? Heaven can only be reached through the powerful love and grace of the Creator, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua. The human soul exists right next to the heart, where the human lungs and where, where the heart's area is. Regardless of whether the human soul is a body, baby, baby, a man, a woman, old or young, or the color of its face, its size, weight, and the value are the same before God, the Creator, Yahweh. However, according to the value of each person's soul, Yahweh God, the Father, is working hard on the abacus calculator every day to determine the value of this soul. Depending on the value of each person's soul, the wheat is in heaven, the kelp is under the earth, the wise virgin are in heaven, the foolish virgin are under the earth, Ye Yeshua's sheep are in heaven, and the disobedient goats are under the earth. When God harvests those souls, it's a decision. The intensive care unit, ICU, is full of evil spirits. There are angels in heaven, but there are many more evil spirits. They are also waiting very luxuriously for the signs of Yahweh God to fall. The ones who control human life are the Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua. Without the command of Yahweh God or without the signature of Yahweh God, even Satan has no decision-making authority over human life. Satan and evil spirits can torment people right before they graduate from life, depending on what they do with their lives, but they cannot touch human life. The ones who control human life are the Creator Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua. From Genesis to the Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation, God knows both the beginning and the end. God is the beginning and the end, Alpha and Omega, and His name is Yeshua, the Creator. The names of Yeshua includes creates, destroy, save, know, knowledge, and experience. It contains the meaning of the Creator. There was a prophet, Eno, the seventh generation, descendants from Adam. God loved the prophet Eno very much. Prophet Eno saw through a vision in his spirit the sins of the sin, the, the sin of Yeshua, God finally coming with the angels of heaven to re represent Yeshua's holy people and recorded it in the book of Enoch, first chapter first, chapter one, chapter first, and the contents in the Jude 1, 14, they are recorded. God Yahweh came to me in 2004. My name is Sanha Park. You have to go there. The time has come to close the world. But my Yeshua, sons and daughters, still do not know me yet. Since those words, many visions have been shown over the past 20 years. Yeshua God came from Israel as the descendants of David, shed all water and blood, died on the cross, trained trained dis discipline, dis disciples, and entrusted the disciples with the task of spreading Yeshua, the greatest command on earth, and built a penthouse in, your, in, in heaven. He promised that He would come to take care, of, take care of you as soon as the arrangements were made, penthouse, and ascended to heaven. Yeshua says the time has come and He will come very soon. 
He showed me numerous visions of rapture, showing Nibiru, N-I-B-I-R-U, and the planets coming from behind the sun at crazy speed, and you would see a pink sky, you would see purple air, you would see 24 carats of pure gold lights falling from the sky, you will see a planet that looks like a disk, D-I-S-K, and it is incre incre incredibly large, you will see it floating white in the sky, and when you see with your own eyes the twinkling rainbow-colored white planets floating in the sky, Rosh Hashanah, Yeshua's wedding, the rapture, would occur when the cloud descended to the earth and the white planets were seen with our own eyes. In the spiritual world, Yeshua God has received an official letter of permission, a letter telling the Lord to bring Yeshua's bride from the earth. From Yahweh God and the holy angels are waiting for the rapture in the thick clouds, and evil spirits are spread out. The final attack is being made, and Satan is now hunting human souls with his needle every second. Guan Mang Sahon. It is government. It is wish, hope, death, kill, people's soul. Currently, human bioinformation has been state of being converted into database through biotechnology and nanotechnology, and Satan is advertising needles every moment of the day. And these needles will continue to advance. I also explain all the secrets about this poisonous snake needle. I tell you not to eat, do not take, do not to receive, and not to receive the mark of Satan under any circumstances or environments. I told you all about how scary the state the mark of Satan is. If you know everything from beginning to end, there is nothing to be afraid. Absolutely rapture. Otherwise, it is martyrdom. The end. Conclusion. The most important thing is to prepare your soul, body, mind, and heart holy, pure, clean, strong, bold, light as air, clean as clear water. Prepare for true faith in Yeshua, true repentance, true love, and the righteous acts. With the faith in God, be baptized with the water in the name of Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua. With the Word of God, the Bible, 85 hours from Genesis to Revelation, spend. Walk one-on-one -on -one with God, Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, Yeshua. Every moment of every day, those who walk with God every moment, every day, enter the heaven and they are raptured. Rapture is unconditional, otherwise it is martyrdom. Unconditional rapture, otherwise martyrdom, the end. If you are unable to reach the rapture due to insufficient specific spe specification do not be afraid you can boldly face the persecution martyrdom is a dire direct bus to heaven if you cannot prove your faith before God while you are alive you can prove your faith through martyrdom there is nothing to be afraid of. Do not be afraid of the seven years of great tribulation. This is very good news. This is because the millennium era will begin where Yeshua, God, will rule directly. No matter what situation or environment you are in, stay close to Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua. Be sure to en engrave Yeshua deeply in the center of your heart and walk and talk with God every day. Royalty to Yahweh, the Holy Spirit, and Yeshua, only Yeshua.